one's mine, Big George. You had the last one. Is that a fact? I saw him first. I don't give a shit who saw what and who did what or who did who. You had the last Philistine. This one's mine. If I want this one, I'll have him too, by God. What happens if I just shoot you, eh? What do you think about that? You're gonna shoot me. Yes, what? I'm gonna shoot you. Well, why don't you shoot me then, goddammit? I will. I'll shoot you right now. Come on, shoot me. I will. Well, quit talking about it and do it, by God. I will. There you go. Good God, I'm hit. Lord have mercy. Burns like hell, fire. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to kill somebody now. Okay, Private Miller. You've been smoking item 9 for 7 minutes and 13 seconds. We're going to ask you several questions. How do you feel? Uh, well, sir, uh... I feel like a slice of butter melting on top of a big old pile of flapjacks. Yeah. This one out, sir. Can you torch me? <laughs> we'll send someone in. Holy bejesus! <gasps> Private Miller, answer the question. What was the question again, sir? When you think of your superiors, what emotions do you feel? You know what, you know what problem I have with your little dog and pony act you call the military? Here it is. One, lots of dudes. Where are the movies? Two, why are we underground right now, sir? Why can't we be out in the open? Why aren't we in a square right now? Why aren't we talking to people? Private, we need you to be serious. I'm serious. Fuck you. I've seen enough. Shut it down. Bury the hatch. Sell the land. And dispose of him. This never happened. Hey, where are we going? This is General Brad. We've reached a final conclusion on item nine. Illegal! Lottery, you blew 500. Oh, oh, I can't believe you're still bringing that up. I had a dream a plane was gonna crash, so I took the bus to Las Vegas. If I'd have been on the plane, it would have crashed. And it doesn't matter. This wasn't a dream. This was a vision. I'm telling you, these people are Satanists. As I sit here, they are Satanists. Look, look, the world is full of these kind of things. Look at this. Black masses, mutilations, the incubus, the succubus. I'm telling you, Walter was a human sacrifice. I should have gone to the lake. I should have listened to Carol. I listen to your wife. Who listens to their wife? Listen, you gotta listen to me. You know what feel is? What we gotta do is we gotta go down to the religious supply store. We gotta get ourselves a couple of gallons of holy water. My cousin Jerry's a priest, he can get us a deal. We gotta get ourselves a couple of those big strings, you know, they string that garlic. We gotta get ourselves some fresh lamb's blood. Ray, do you want him to take your family, kidnap them, tear their livers out, and make some kind of satanic pate? No, I'm not going to listen to this now. I'm Unconscious chanting. You're chanting. I want to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is our pal. Ray, Ray, you're chanting. Once they get in here, it's over, pal. My next door neighbor, he was trying to call me a liar and a thief. I didn't know what the fuck was happening because I've barely been sleeping since my wife got flipped upside down by a swing dancer at a wedding. He must have flipped my wife big time! When you can't sleep and you see that thing, you're not just like, wait, wait, that's a pig with a mask. You're like, that's gonna kill me. That's real. That lives with us on her. I thought I was gonna get eaten. I think you're gonna get eaten and your first thought is, great, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. You're relieved you don't have to go to work because you thought you were gonna get eaten? What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us? What did they do to us? The most consequential day of my life because now I know I don't like my work. There's nothing I thought it should be and everything I was worried it would become because for 50 seconds I thought there was monsters on the world. Congratulations. Time to call mom and dad. Tell them that the second mortgage they took out from your degree was worth it because you now have a job. But a job is not a career. Job is just a foot in the door. If you want a career, you want to be standing where I'm standing 15 years from now, then you had better listen very fucking carefully to the next 176 words out of my mouth because this is your new reality. When you walk through that door, your ass is mine. There will be no cell phones. There will be no smoke breaks. There will be no conversation and putting to the job. There will be no motherfucking shits taken unless authorized by me personally. And if you happen to be lucky enough to get that authorization, you will have exactly four minutes and 30 seconds to expel your fecal material, wipe your ass, and wash your filthy hands and get back to work. And if I happen to come across a shit smear in the toilet bowl of that employee restroom, I will personally go to each and every one of your homes and shoot in places that will leave you confused for the rest of your lives. Excellence. I expect it, I demand it, and I deliver it. And there's really only one thing you need to know. This ain't Toys R Us, motherfuckers. Well, broadsheet journalists have described my impressions as stunningly accurate. Well, they're wrong. I've not heard your Michael Caine, but I assume it would be something along the lines of, My name's Michael Caine. That is where you are so wrong. That... Do you, Michael Caine? Okay. I say, Michael Caine used to talk like this in the 1960s, right? But that has changed. And I say that over the years, let me finish. I can't go fast because Michael Caine 
talks very, very slow. Right, this is how Michael Ken speaks. He gets very, very specific. It's very like that. When it gets loudly, it gets very loud indeed. It gets very specific. It's not quite nasal enough the way you're doing it, all right? You're not doing it the way he speaks. You're not doing it with the kind of, and you don't do the broken voice, but it gets very emotional. But it gets very emotional indeed. She was only 16 years old. She was only 16. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. That's Michael Kane. I didn't go to one of those big, fancy law schools like you did, Mr. Pittman. So, uh, you're gonna have to explain something to me. You see, Mr. Blunt, if your client doesn't voluntarily cease and desist, we'll be forced to go through the long and very costly process of injunctions, lawsuits, motions, counter-motions, hearings. Well, you've certainly made it very clear how your legal system works. Now, I'd like to explain a little bit about the Peter Blunt system. You see, uh, I don't go in for lawsuits, motions, or any of that legal stuff. No, no. See, see what happens is uh, I find out where you live, and then I come to your house. And I beat down your door with a fucking baseball bat! Maybe thrust that golden retriever! <laughs> then he hits, and then I'm coming upstairs, Junior! And I'm gonna grab you by your Brooks Brothers PJs, and then I'm gonna take your brand new BMW and cram it up your hot ass! Do we have an understanding? Hey, uh, you guys believe in angels? Or? Uh, give me a fruit cocktail. Well, I can't. If I did that, then I'd have to give it to you every day. And I won't get all my vitamins. Do you know who you're dealing with? Chill, nasty Nate. He's my bitch. Nobody's gonna stab him, it's gonna be me. You better watch your back, fish, because next time I come for you, I'm gonna want some cocktail. Fruit! Take it. I'm somebody's bitch. You serious? You don't know. Everybody knows you never go full retard. What do you mean? Check it out. Dustin Hoffman, Ray Man, look retarded, act retarded, not retarded. Cat two picks, cheer cards. Artistic. Shut sure, not retarded. Yeah, got Tommy Hanks, Forrest Gump. Slow, yes, retarded, maybe. Braces on his leg. But he charmed the pants off next to him. They won a ping pong competition? That ain't retarded. He was a goddamn war hero. Right. You know any retarded war heroes? You ain't full retard, man. Never go full retard. I'm Bernie McCracken. When I found out little Billy that was growing up without a daddy, I had to do something. Bigger and saw our picture in the paper, he called the Unified Fund and got involved. I had to. Couldn't help myself. But little Billy's not the only one. There's also a little Jason here. Once again this year, I'll be sponsoring a fatherless family. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, Mr. McCracken's already there. <laughs> it's a tough world. These kids nearly got Munson, but they're back. Through the Unified Fund, I found out that if you give a little, you can get back. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck! That was diabolical! Yo, Joe, Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! Yo, Joe Jerk, the dirty bastard creeping, selling dreams, got him sleeping while he reaping. Troy Gaines, the griller killer, he's the thriller, plastic fiends got him hooked, straight dealer. Disavowed action figures, hunt him down, collect the screen, pay the crown, war dogs in town. Thursday night, thunder, mega powers in the round, might drop heart. Feel the pound. pound. Yo, Joe Jerk, legends untold. Troy Gaines breaks the mold. Disavowed action figures, I so bold. Mega Flowers podcast stories unfold. The thriller killer flips to switch on them. Rare finds blink twice, now you wish on them. Dirty bastard schemes, ain't no fix on them. Hunt for riches, can't miss on them. Uh, the thriller killer flips to switch on